three. Drops in, he sees the opportunity to get in. Federer hit a good pass, but look at Rafter at full stretch. Pretty much. I mean, it's, it's just thanks to that rotation. Look, the arm, the, the shoulder, this shoulder, the left shoulder rotating all the way. That's what helps him bring the torso all the way around and still being able to hit that ball, moving backwards, which is, it's not easy. It's a very, very difficult shot to make, but of course, that's why we have we really have to pay attention to that left shoulder. The left shoulder is the one that is going to help you rotate, bring that torso, bring that, bring, bring those shoulders around and swing. We want to pay attention to the legs as well, crossing, legs crossing here, and rotation of this shoulder, the back shoulder. That's what helps him go all the way around. And uh, we are going to see it from um, with some other one-handed backhand players as well. But that's the one thing that I really wanted to emphasize today, paying attention to that left shoulder, bringing it all the way back. This is uh, Pablo Cuevas from Uruguay. He's doing really, really well. Beautiful one-handed backhand. Let's pay attention to the, see he's gonna cross the legs here. See the wrist is a little cocked. Let's pay attention to the face of the racket opening as well. The wrist is cocked, the face of the racket pointing up and then the, oh, the shoulder all the way from back there. The shoulders are not really lined up towards the court because the left the left shoulder comes further back. It's like almost giving your back to the court, not, not really close to, but a little bit, let's say. And he finished up with the chest sticking out. See, rotation, let's, the, the, the shoulder again, good extension and going all the way around see all the way around that's that chest is sticking out at the end is super super important see the wrist again cock the wrist face of the racket pointing up uh-huh and he goes swinging all the way around relaxing that arm and letting it come around the body let's go with our rinka again wrist cocked racket pointing up pay attention to the left shoulder again and unleashes if you see, they don't they don't move. They keep their feet on the ground unless unless they're moving towards the ball, moving forward, stepping into the court or hitting on the run. But I suggest that if you're not really moving too much, crossing the legs here, that's very unnoticeable there. If you're not moving too much, keep your feet on the ground. That's gonna help you center that ball on the strings. This is Tim crossing the legs, kick uh, wrist cock. And going around we're gonna see it again let's pay attention to the wrist let's pay attention to the position of the racket face of the racket pointing up and the left shoulder bringing it back so see the back is a little bit towards the court and he unleashes all the way around so that's that's just um that is something that i just wanted to show you guys really quick some of the things that we that that, that we went through is feet on the ground when they hit, like I say, you don't have to do it on every single shot, but usually when you're rallying and you're not in the position to move inside the court and being aggressive, you wanna keep your feet on the ground. That's gonna help you center that ball perfect, perfect in the strings, the way it looks here with Tim. Okay, so you're gonna cross your feet. To, it's easier, you cross, so it's easier to bring that shoulder back. That's one thing that you really wanna pay attention. Cross your feet to bring that shoulder back. You wanna relax your hand on the grip you don't want to you don't, i i will say you don't you barely grabbing you barely grabbing the, the grip when you bring the racket back this it's more your left hand that is going to bring the racket back and the right hand the right hand the hand on the grip is going to be relaxed so you want to focus on the left shoulder turning you want to cross your feet for the for the rotating position you want to have the face of your racket open in the back swing with the wrist cocked now you're going to relax the grip and the racket, the, the hand on the, 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 sometimes some players, theme, 
Federer and Cuevas, they bring the hand on the racket, they bring in more or less a shoulder height when they prepare. Fien brings a little higher above the shoulder. So that means it's 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 a, a longer swing. It comes from, from down up from the top to the bottom and up again in order in order to generate more momentum with the racket. But his and his swing is a little more flat. It's a little flatter than than uh, other um, players.